In the previous video, we have looked at how to draw a diagram and to reflect the text on the diagram itself and to identify the incidence of text on the producer and the consumers. So in this video, what we'll be looking at is who actually bear a heavier burden of taxation. So frankly speaking, the relative price elasticity of demand and supply would indicate the incidence of tax, which means to say that given the price elasticity of supply, the more price inelastic a demand curve is, the greater the burden of tax on the buyers because they are less responsive to price changes. On the other hand, given the price elasticity of demand, the more price inelastic the supply is, the greater the burden on the sellers. Reason is because the sellers themselves, those who are less responsive to the price changes, the greater the bur burden of tax will be on them. Therefore, in general, the party which is relatively more responsive to price changes, they will bear a lower burden of tax. The opposite saying it, it will be the party who is less responsive to price changes will bear a higher a greater burden of tax so shall we look at these two diagrams so with the first case given the elasticity of supply the more price elastic the demand curve is the greater burden of tax on the buyers so we will illustrate using the diagram itself both the supply curve it is of the same elasticity value because the slope is the same then my demand curve on the right it is relatively price inelastic my demand curve on the left, it is relatively more price elastic. So given that there is a specific amount of tax imposed, which is the same for both the diagram on the right and the, and the left, the supply curve will shift up by the amount of tax imposed. So the vertical distance is still the same. However, looking at the equilibrium point, the new price level on the right, uh, on, on both curves will be at price P1. And P2 will be the price that is actually received by the producer after paying tax to the government. Then you realize that consumer incidence of tax per unit is indicated by the distance P0, P1. The producer incidence of tax per unit will be indicated by the distance P0, P2. So therefore, you realize that the more price inelastic the demand is, which is referring to the diagram on the right, they have to bear, the consumer will have to bear a greater burden of tax when you compare the distance between the two diagrams. Shall we look at the next case, whereby given the price elastic of the demand, the more price inelastic the supply is, the greater burden of tax on the sellers. So both diagram is the same, but the difference is the, sell, the supply curve is relatively uh, gentle on the left hand side of the diagram. And on the right hand side, the, the diagram on the right, the supply curve is relatively much deeper, which shows that the supply is more price inelastic. So with the same amount of tax imposed on the same on both diagram, the supply curve will shift up by the amount of tax imposed and with the new equivalent point price at P1 for both diagram. Then what will happen? The price P2 is over here as denote like the point that is on the original supply curve. Then consumer incidence of tax per unit is shown by P1, P0, the rate, the distance P1 and P0. The produce, producer's incidence of tax per unit is denoted by the amount P0, P2, the green color area. And you realize that with a more price inelastic supply curve, looking at the diagram on the right, the burden of tax on the seller is the greatest as compared to a more elastic supply curve, looking at the difference between P0, P2. So therefore, the one who is unable to respond quickly end up will pay a larger burden of the tax. And in tutorial, I will go through the case study of tobacco and cars. So I hope that you will find the video uh, useful and therefore shows it in the application of the tobacco and cars. I'll go through during the tutorial to make sure that you understand the point on the incidence of the indirect taxes on consumer and producer. Thank you for listening.